I got my black belt December 2012 and then I started 2013 like good you know like I won the Copa Podio and I won the Europeans. You're the best of all the divisions like all the weight classes. If you don't have like the experience fighting as black belt you know it's like a totally different game. Man, she's too big, she's too strong, she's too this, she's too that. I always knew that someone could be her. I never thought, oh, it's gonna be me. People start to count, you know, like 10, 9, 8, to like feel that. And like, man, like finally, you know, like, like now it's my time, you know? I'll fight the winner of the next match here. Uh, Fernanda is a world champion, you know, so the last time I fought Fernanda, she beat me, you know, was my first year as black belt, so whoever, and the other guy, I've never fought her before, so I think it'll be like exciting, whoever it is. Adjust your grip. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, keep it crossing. Keep it crossing, baby. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Ten seconds, kids. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Yes. Woo! Good job! I'll tell you the time. I think, you know, it went well, you know what I mean? I think, you know, um, Fernanda Mazzelli is a very good competitor. She's a heavy girl. You know, she plays very safe, you know what I mean? She know, uh, open herself too much, so make it more difficult to make things happen. So I think Mackenzie fought a, a good game, you know, play a good strategy, you know, uh, took the opportunity in the right time, in the right moment. I mean, like, I knew it would be a tough match. Last time I fought her, she did, like, on 11-0 to be me, you know, so it was like three years ago. How did it feel to get the redemption, though, to get that win back? Uh, it was good, you know, like I don't hold grudges with anyone, you know, but it's good, like, that your mind doesn't block, you know, sometimes, like, when people lose to somebody, they, maybe they feel like a blockage, you know, like, man, I already lost to them again, you know, once, maybe I lose again, but I didn't feel like that, I didn't feel nervous about her, just was, like, knew it was going to be a battle, so. Representing Gracie Uman. How does Mackenzie approach this match? With such a, a big difference in size and weight, it will be very difficult for Mackenzie to hold her down. The first time I fought Gabby was after I got my, my black belt. I was at the Pan Ams, the Pan American Championships. And um, I remember I fought her in like, I really don't remember that much about the fight. I remember like she was like a blanket, you know? <laughs> and she just like started to come closer and closer and closer and closer. And then like I tapped it because she did like, like a choke here. <laughs> you know, and I just remember like trying to keep her away if she just getting closer and closer, you know. And honestly, like for me, it was like a really good experience, you know, because like I always knew that someone could beat her, and like I always wanted to be like not to be the one to beat her, you know, it was nothing like personal to me with her, you know. But of course, you know, she's like she's winning everything, you know. Like, literally, like from November to April, we fought like like four times, you know? 
so the world knew it was like pretty crazy, you know, because uh, that's like I really came out like trying to like submit her. I got like a triangle, kind of, you know, triangle. I wasn't able to like really close my legs. I closed my legs, but it wasn't like a tight triangle, you know, because she's so big. And like she like took me off the ground, you know. And I swear I felt like I was at Six Flags, you know, like went like so high, you know, and she like went down like fast, you know. And I like closed my eyes. I was like, okay, she's gonna slam. She's gonna do like a slam, you know. That's what I felt like. And like she went so fast. And then like right before then, she just like stopped, you know. And then like it just kind of like like came off so gracefully, you know. Like I was like. And then I was on the mat, you know, and I was like, wow, you know, and then I mean like I tried to do a knee bar, you know, like I tried to attack, you know, and, the, and she's submitting me again, you know. And the winner, and people like, were very like, no one can beat her, you know, like, man, she's too big, she's too strong, she's too this, she's too that, you know, like, uh, I was always like, no, like, there's a way to beat her, you know, um, we just have to figure it out. So next fight is Dominica, right? Yes, yeah, Dominica. What do you what do you expect in that fight? You guys are, are one and one yeah. together. Yeah, on black belt we're one and one, and um, I I know it'd be like really tough. She beat me at the Worlds, and that's sort of the Worlds on the semifinals too, you know. So I think she's probably gonna play like guard, maybe. Uh, she has really long legs, like really different uh, style of body, you know, like really long, lengthy, skinny. So I don't know, see, like big and small. So I think. Maybe I'll try to be fast, you know, hopefully that'll help. I don't know. Get Vai, 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 vai! Quebra a pegada, quebra a pegada na perna! Quebra a pegada na perna! Ai! Use the joelho, Kenzie. Use the joelho to tirar a perna do bíceps. Oh, balanço, Kenzie. Oh, balanço. Pesada, Kenzie. Pesada. Pesada nela. Falta quatro. Falta quatro, Kenzie. Vai, Kenzie. Vai, Kenzie. Vai, Vai, Kenzie. Vai, Kenzie. Sobe. You know, like I, I thought I did good, you know, just to be a little bit more smarter the next time I fight. And I mean, I felt good, you know. Of course, there will always be little things you can change, but I think the real part to focus on is the weight now to see what I'll fight, win, lose, what I make mistakes. So today was uh, the third day of the Pan Ams and you know like I got third place in the absolute so I really tried my my hardest but you know it wasn't enough so now I'm gonna like go home and try to make the weight for uh, my weight class tomorrow and focus on the weight division so let's see it's still like trying to go after the absolute title. So it's been a really long day, uh, I'm tired, you know, but I'm going to go to the sauna, cut some weight, and um, get some rest for tomorrow. I did three fights, so I just came here, and I'm in the pool with like some fresh, like cool water to help relax a little bit, just like keep moving around, you know, 
but relaxing my muscles at the same time, so. <laughs> I was like talking to Kane and Cornelius, you know, on the airplane. We were going to Abu Dhabi together, you know, and like I was talking to him about like fighting Gabby and stuff and like he was just kind of talking to me. He's like, you know, you know, six minute is good, you know, to fight Gabby. And he was like, and he was just telling me, you know, like, why don't you like try to like just take your time, you know? He had told me like, if you, if you go like to a judge's decision, you know, you have like 50-50 chance, you know what I mean? And I was thinking about that, I was like, man, like, okay, like, okay, it would be good to a judge's decision, right? But that's like goes back to what we were saying, you know, that if I just like wait, you know, and try to like hold on, you know, then I think that she's going to be attacking, 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 you know, and I'm not even going to be able to handle the six minutes, you know? I tried to like do like some sweeps and all like sometimes I tried to do like a knee bar you know but like couldn't really stretch her leg out you know like I tried to do some things you know but it was like man like one minute left of the fight you know and I like all of a sudden like what Keenan told me you know he was like man I was like man okay one minute left why like why am I trying to do too much now you know like now is the time for me to like you know she's losing she should be pa she should pass my guard right now you know what I mean like 30 seconds I start to like hear the people like start to stand up, you know, like people start to get louder and louder and louder, you know, like and then like 10 seconds left people start to count, you know, like 10, 9, 8, and was just so much adrenaline going on, I was like, man, like inside, I, I think inside I knew that I was winning. I got it and like was kind of still in shock a little bit, you know, like everyone was going crazy, you know, just feeling like everyone's energy, you know, like oh, trying to like breathe, you know. And like, I kind of looked at her and she looked like she won, you know? So then it kind of threw me off a little bit. And even like, I looked at the thing, I was like, okay, I won. But like, it wasn't real until like the referee raised her hand, you know? And then like the referee like raised my hand. And then when I won in the finals of the absolute, then I was like, okay, now I'm like the new queen of Abu Dhabi, you know? And remember, just one switch in the air. Same time as your leg goes, your arm switches, and then you land. And then just one. Don't start moving your arms too fast, okay? Then same thing when you go back. This arm drives up. Am I coming too much far? No, you're doing good on all that. You're just thinking about your arms too much. Yeah. So we're here at the MMA lab, and uh, I just did uh, my physical preparation with Jared. Uh, he's the trainer for like all the MMA pro team here and like such a great guy always like pushing me you know every time I work out and I see that he's not here I'm like oh, okay I'm gonna like cheat a little bit today you know and then he gets here and like he stands next to me you know but like always encouraging me and make sure like I do everything as good as possible you know all right you can either be here and walk with your hands up and step if you want to be functional otherwise we can do this way but this way you'll move and walk So we're kind of just doing a bunch of like functional, diff different functional workouts. It's not really centralizing on one muscle group at all. Uh, we're kind of working all over the body. I had been thinking about MMA for like a while, like more than two years. Um, I was already training MMA like last year. Like, I think my jiu-jitsu is, like, one of the hardest parts to transition to MMA because, like, I'm a mix, you know, like, I do a lot of foot locks and toe holes and stuff like that. And I think that's good for MMA. Hey, let's go. This is a bad, bad deal, man. This is a bad deal. As, as a father, you know what I mean, I, I really don't want to see her doing MMA. But like I say in the beginning, you know, I support her in whatever she do. 
Yeah, I mean, like, my dad, he never wanted me to do MMA. And, like, honestly, I didn't want to do MMA. Um, and then, like, Tinkin was training at the lab. And he won the world the year that he was started to train in the lab, too. She's a very pretty girl. You know, I think, you know, um, she got my genes. <laughs> no, her mom is pretty, was very pretty, her mom. No, she, I think she's very pretty. I, it's going to be hurt me very, very bad to see her get hurt, you know what I mean? Kenzie's going first. Oh, my God. Right, go. Like, okay, like being more around the people, like people start to say, like, you know, you should really, like, think about it. You know, like people start to, like, like you know, drag you in slowly. They're, like, sneaking, you know what I mean? Like, man, maybe I should try, you know? Like, but I always thought, said, like, if I don't win the Worlds, I won't do it, you know? That's my first goal. Okay. We're here at my gym, the MMA lab. Uh, today is the Saturday, is our sparring day, it's the, uh, the fun day. It's the day we get to play a little bit and put all of our week's hard work and what we learned into action and try it live inside the cage. Hey guys, listen, check the, check the schedule because after this we're just going to pull through these, alright? Are you ready? You guys ready? Alright, let's go. After this, finish that. Got a girl. I think today was um, one of our first sparring matches that, you know, every Saturday we come here we do our hard sparring. Uh, it's just to prepare you for like the feel of a fight and, and what it's going to be like to actually be in the cage. Um, so, I, I mean, we don't try to kill each other, but, but we take it to each other pretty hard. And um, I think the best teammates we have are the ones that can try and emulate what your opponent is going to do. So it's good for me to spar with women like Mackenzie because... Um, she needs to work on her takedowns, obviously, she's going to want to go to the ground, and I need to work on not getting taken down, so, um, perfect, perfect matchup. Hey, Kenzie's a beautiful. At all times and times, yep, babe. Good. I feel so tired. You know, but that's part of it, you know, like, I felt good just thinking about the fatigue, you know, but... I don't know, I feel like I'm getting better. It's like glad to be able to do like a submission, you know, it was really good. After you took her down and submitted her, what was on her mind the whole entire time? Oh, because I did some, some depth and stuff yeah. before I took her down. Like you punched her. You hit her in the face and then you shot. Like you went bang and then you took her down. Earlier we were just like out here hitting air and then we would shoot, right? And that comes with us not seeing what we were doing. In the first round, she was worried about your punches, so you got underneath her. After that, she kind of knew, okay, she's going to just shoot on me every time. You know, like, blow a little way, strike up a little bit, don't just shoot again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because since he knows, okay, she's not trying to hurt me on her feet, all she's going to try to do is, is take me down. So then let's go back to hurting her on her feet, and then back to take her down. It's a game, right? I have to play the game. Oh, she did great. She uh, worked on uh, some of the things. I see her, I watch her hitting mitts. She, you know, we work on a lot of stuff in, in, in practice. Being able to see her apply that in the sparring session, that's super hard to do. That's so hard. Even the, the straight jiu-jitsu guys, when you learn a new technique and you drill it and drill it and drill it, and then you try and do it live, and then you just can't quite get it. You can't even begin to attempt the move for whatever reason. For Mackenzie, she was able to apply some of the stuff she was learning. Maybe she didn't nail it. Maybe it didn't, you know, work out for her. Maybe she she didn't land all her punches or all her kicks. But she threw them. She attempted to, to try it. You know, so that's uh, that's pretty hard to do when someone else is standing in front of you punching you back to to try new techniques. You know, so I was really happy to see that. I think she did a, a great job. I still don't have like my own MMA image. You know, like my own style yet. So I'm still trying to like grow that, but. I mean, it's frustrating, but it's like bittersweet, um, like having to learn, like be like a white belt and everything. But I like it. So today is the last day of the Pan American Championships. Um, it's like my weight division today, so I'm in the semifinals. 
It's a bracket of three. So I'll fight the loser of the two girls. And then if I win, I go to the finals. So I'm excited. I already like, checked my weight. I didn't officially weigh in yet, but I'm like 300 grams below. So just had some honey to get some energy. And I have my drinks already ready for me as soon as I weigh in. I can drink something, so I'm really excited. Like I feel good. Try to like have redemption from the absolute, you know. So I'm gonna do my best and try to get first place. Right there, baby. Right there, walk there. Eu tô com a dupa Yeah. Hi, yeah, so I just finished my first match uh, in the weight division. Usually I like to do toe holds, but uh, her foot was there for the straight foot lock, so I did that. And then I started to put the pressure, like, I saw her hand, like, gonna tap, you know, so I just kind of kept the pressure, and then when she tapped, I was, like, happy. So I think it was maybe, like, one minute and, like, 20 seconds or something. So I'm glad I was able to, like, finish the fight fast, and now I can drink and eat some stuff so what's so. next for you and i'm in the finals so we'll be later and yeah i'm just uh Ka Ka karen atunis she's so tough you know so I'll for sure will be like a battle the day i fought gabby i think that after that fight i didn't expect it to do such a ripple effect, you know, like on the whole jiu-jitsu community, you know, like what people always ask me, like, what was it bigger, like winning the Abu Dhabi, you know, winning the world or winning the ADCC, you know, and everything is different, but like for sure, like Abu Dhabi was like the biggest change in the, in the jiu-jitsu community, you know, like, man, so many people got motivated after that, you know, to win like both, you know, it's like really good. You're the absolute champion, you know, like you're the best of all the divisions, like all the weight classes, you know. She tries to step over the mount, tries the long step, can't undo the control that Nicolini has of the legs. This was like my time, you know, like everything was like kind of falling into place, you know. Like this last year she won three world championships in one, in one year. That is, that is pretty amazing. The same year I fought Gabby in the final, or semi-finals of the I beat, it was the first time I beat Michelle Nicolini. I had never beat her before. She's got to choke in! She's got to choke in! Can't she submit the yeah. touch it! We have a new queen of Jiu-Jitsu, Mackenzie Dern, upsetting the eight-time world champion. Okay, I think my Jiu-Jitsu is like, now I'm starting to get into the rhythm, you know? And then the world was able to like, submit her, you know? Um, and then ADCC again with Michelle. <laughs> I think like, now that I won everything, like, man, I don't even feel pressure like, to win, you know? Like, the whole 2015 was like a boost for me. That was crazy. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Let's go down one other. Okay. Tá tudo bem. Foi todo no final, todo no final. Deixa eu dar uma olhada aqui então. Do you have a tri chip with a bread? Yeah, tri chip sandwich. But what bread is it? Don't don't have a bread. This, the, the long bread? Yeah. I'm just like excited to be eating again. And probably like tonight I'll have like In-N-Out Burger, you know, I'm so hungry and uh, my next tournament is Abu Dhabi so I have to go to 115 pounds, you know, so I'm gonna try to like eat all the things I'm craving right now because then I have to go back to the diet, you know, so just gonna try to get strong for the final. So we're on the 
getting ready to go to the finals so the Pan American Championship. Uh, my weight class, so I'm gonna fight Karen Atunis. And she's so tough, so I know it'll be like a really good fight. But I won the Pan Ams last year, so hopefully I can get uh, defend my title. I'm feeling like excited. I'm ready to fight, and just I love to do this, you know. So for me, it's fun. Like I'm not, I don't feel any pressure. I don't feel nervous. I don't. I'm just excited. I'm ready to go out there and fight. Mackenzie Dern, she is up against Checkmats, Karen Antunes. We've got two very aggressive competitors here, and I gotta say, they look fired up. Controla, controla, controla. Oh, she's got it. She's yeah, cranking it. She's gonna roll again oh, here. Just about manages to get out of Karen Antunes, but that's close. Não deixa, não deixa abraçar, Kenzie. Não deixa abraçar. Roll onto a leg. I gotta say, Sean, I don't think Mackenzie is the kind of grappler who plays the points game. No. She goes after one thing, and that is the finished. There is the finish. End of the match, final score, four points to two in favor of your champion, 2016 Pan Jiu Jitsu Black Belt Featherweight Champion, Mackenzie Dern. Yeah, I want a double gold, you know, but Today was uh, my weight, that's what I came to focus on, was like the most important, you know, like I said, I have nothing to lose in the absolute, so for me to win my weight class and show that I'm still like, you know, the best in my weight class right now, uh, that was like the, the ultimate goal, so I'm happy. Pan Am Champion.